Hey, coaches, welcome to another Football Scoop Online Clinic. Today we've got Coach Koo from Nassau Community College. He's going to talk some man-free concepts and some variations. Uh, so excited to have Coach Koo on. The floor is yours, brother. All right. Thanks, Coach. All right, first of all, I'm Coach Koo. I coach at Nassau Community. I work with uh, Jamal Ramsey at Nassau. Um, you know, just overview of our defense before we get into the man-free. We are a 4-2-5 base team. All right, so we do a lot of our 4-2-5 base. When we talk about man-free, we'll talk about it using our 4-2 stuff. I'll get into how we play it with Little Bear, and I'll also talk about how we do it with our nickel personnel. But right now, we're in a 4-2 front. That's how we play it. Um, as far as man-free goes, all right, our coverage rules are the same no matter what front we play. I don't, I don't like to have guys thinking and hemming and hawing about when we sub go different personnel packages. So basically our Sam anchor free and our two corners are our cover guys who will cover our wide receivers and tight end H backs with when we switch to a bare front, nothing changes with those guys. And it's very similar when we get into our three, two dime package, we take a D lineman out and we bring a D back in the game. We call him the Joker, but we'll still play our rules the same way. If a Joker comes in, the only other responsibility he may have, is we consider him like a linebacker where he may be involved with some coverage with our running back. But we, the, the thing I love about it, we do different blitzes and play games with the front and nothing changes for us coverage wise. So I think it's very important to keep it simple with the kids. And that's one of the things, you know, we try to do. Um, why man free allows the inside linebackers to play run. It allows us to be multiple in what we do. It gives us options with bringing pressure and being aggressive or sending four and playing with underneath help. And it gives us uh, good answers, you know, versus H-backs and RPO teams with our dual read concept with the H-back, which we'll talk about uh, in a little bit. All right. Now, uh, we have two. The first two I'm going to talk about is our seal and our sky. Both of those are just four-man rushers where we play it uh, uh, with different rules. All right, I'll just put those clips in, up in a minute. Seal the both inside linebackers are curl players with one linebacker taking the back if he releases. All right, so seal, that's how we play it. And then with Sky, the safety and the outside linebacker will exchange responsibilities. I'm gonna put both of those up for you guys right here. So basically our seal rules are as follows. Corner takes number one, Sam takes number two, the anchor, all right, and the free will either take three, three uh, strong or two weak man for man. So in this situation, it's trips. The anchor will take number three. The free is a free player. The linebackers are playing hook, all right, or the running back if it releases man to man. They're really looking for crossers, anything when teams trying to run some mess stuff or stuff inside. They're playing the underneath stuff. All right, so that's seal. Okay, it's man free on the outside, but the inside linebacker is not blitzing. Now, what we do sometimes is because um, you see a lot of H back now. You see different things with the H back. Everyone seems to be going 11 personnel. So I'm going to show you our two options. One was with seal that we talked about. Um, the other thing with, that we can do, okay, is when we do seal with the H back, all right, we try to read the H back with both safeties key the H back. So either safety will fill or will play deep third. Linebacker needs to understand where the safety is and spill everything to the safety. So let me just show you guys that, what I'm talking about real quick. All right, so if we're gonna play seal and they go with H back a lot, we'll game plan this. We'll put the corner and safe Sam on number two, corners on one, and both eyes will be on this H back. All right, so we're going to do what we did to try to get that extra hat in the box. In the box. If he gets starts getting water, our anchor can make a down call, and that means he has him. The safety is a deep third player. If he's here, what we're going to do is we're going to read him. So if he starts coming or starts going across, both eyes are on him. This safety is going to start to fill and come up hard inside. One thing you got to teach is that you got to teach your inside backers that they have to take everything on with their inside arm, because we want it spilled to the safety. So if he starts coming across and Will's getting some type of, you know, lead block with the H back, he wants to take it on with inside arm so we could spill that to the safety. 
That's one way we will play it. We'll play it, seal our dual concept reads. Now, if this guy comes wide outside, Anchor will make a down call and he will cover him and the safety will be a deep third player. The other thing we do with the H-back is we play what we call Stormer Sky. This is what we do when teams, now you're starting to see a lot of teams using this guy in jet motion. This guy starts coming across. So we try to play it this way where now we're changing the anchor and Sam responsibilities. So in Storm and Sky, the anchor now is going to take two. Sam, Mike, and Will, all right, they, are, they have H back to back. They're playing cheat hook, cheat technique. So we got three to play to. What do teams like to do? They like to bring this guy across and maybe release him out. It will take him if he goes vertical. Cheat to us is curl flat. The Sam will hang on him and ride him up the field. Then you have the deep third help. But corners on, on one, anchors on two. So, the, again, the thing I like about that is they start flashing, bringing this guy across in motion with a jet sweep action. All we do is we swap it. Anchor becomes a deep third player. The free safety will take the motion. If they start on the snap, bringing this guy across, the whole key to that is they bring him across. We're not running across with that. We just shuffle inside, play cutback. We have uh, two linebackers playing run, and then if he releases, the will is there. So I like that a lot with teams that run H-back, teams running jet motion, because now we have answers to it. Teams will run jet and then try to run behind it. Um, as far as the RPO goes, we're in good shape because we got one and two covered. If they try to run three vertical, the Sam's going to hang on him and you still have the safety here. So to me, those are the two options. You know, we're living in an H-back world. We're staying a lot more 11 personnel. Those are answers we have. So both of these are zone coverages. Let me get to the film on that. Um, and I'll show you our seal and our uh, sky stuff. All right, so here's firstly, all right, we're, we are in seal, seal coverage right now. All right, to me, what I like to do is we like to make it look like a two deep look. You know, every time, you know, quarterbacks and offenses, they're trained to three coverages. You know, it's no different here. We are giving a two shell look. You know, they, they come out, looks like our two stuff, looks like our four. Um, a lot of times we'll press this guy, especially with three by one with the back away. We will press on this side. All right. But we'll, you know, we'll get, to, we have different options there. But as far as this goes, right now, it looks like two deep. You got a trip set with a tight end. So right now, corner's on number one. Sam is on number two. All right, this safety has number three. We are comboing the back. If the back doesn't release, we're looking to play underneath with the linebackers with a deep safety, deep third player. So as you can see, all right, it's third and five. We do a good job there. Okay, one more time. We're in one and two. We never, we never, we never like combo routes. We never, we, if you have your guy, you have him, he's yours. So that's one of the things people always ask me, do you, do you, you know, switch off, especially with tight seven. Now we play and we just make sure we have good spacing with our DBs. All right, so safety does a good job. As you can see inside, all right, as you can see inside, our inside backer is looking to pick up anything underneath. So he almost reacts to it. They're still key in the back. And that's one. Um, one play. Here it is versus uh, 20 personnel. So here's our H back. All right. We're keying the H back right here. All right. Sam's on two. Now people talk about alignment. In college, some guys will play him outside. I like playing him inside because it kind of ties into what we do um, with the Sam. If we put him outside, I think it's a it's a quick tell to tell what we're doing. I think I think it's harder to complete, you know, the out passes than it is to play outside and hit guys on the quick slant stuff. So, you know, that's how I play. We've gone back and forth about changing leverage with, leverage with the Sam, but I don't want our guys overthinking stuff. All right, so in this picture, all right, we, you can't really see the, uh, the free safety here, but you have the free safety and the anchor. They should be both key in this H-back. H-back run blocks and our, and our, our, our safety is flying. He's, he's thinking he sees that. He's a real aggressive kid, so, you know, he, he sees that. And we're playing it in this situation. Okay. Again, now it's too weak. Okay. So in two week is our Sam. All right. Our Mike and Will, we're trying to get the D tackle lined up, but those two guys in seal are, are doubling it. Um, they have the tailback and playing underneath. 
All right, so up here, you got the free dropping down to play two. I would have liked him to hold that a little longer, but, you know, he, he comes down. All right, we got the safety, uh, Sam on the tight end. So we got two by two here. Now we got a scramble situation. The linebacker comes. You know, he comes late. He could have held on that a little longer. We always teach our guys to scramble. All right. You know, don't leave until the guys pass the line of scrimmage. But, you know, as far as coverage goes, we're okay here. All right. We got good coverage inside. That King, he's got the back. He's looking to help. Uh, this linebacker could have really helped out and picked up here. But, you know, in that situation, we're okay. Now, here's Bear. You could do a lot of different things with Bear. All right, in this game, we walk our will down and we bump the front, all right? Now this linebacker, he has the back. When we go bear, he has the back. The other way you can play bear is you could put the linebacker down over the center and still play two threes and two fives, all right? That's the other way we do play it. But in this situation, we're going man free, all right? He has the back and we will play it with our bear front. All right, again, they go play action. He's got the back. He sees him all right, kind of stop release. He tries the linebackers trying to help, and we do a good job here with the safety, all right, reading it. Now, we don't, we don't have to play. You know, we play him at six, seven yards. We don't, have, we don't feel that we have to start moving the safeties to four or five where we're trying to tip off, you know, what we're doing coverage-wise. Now, this is a poor job, so you can see what we're trying to do with the safeties from here. Now, we should have both these safeties' eyes on that H-back. All right, so Sam's on two. This is what we're talking about with the deal, dual read. We kind of screw this up a little bit. So if we're dual reading this, this H-back, if he's coming across, all right, this safety should trigger and go, all right, and he should be the deep third player. We kind of got a little bit confused on this one, but that's – I just want to show you guys this, this is what should happen. We're really truly dual reading this. He's coming across. He should be flying and he should be dropping. They actually do the opposite here. But that's that's not what we wanted, but the, you know, at least you guys can see what was happening. There. So hopefully that makes sense. So if you got the H back coming across, we should get this guy flying to line of scrimmage. Any type of lead block, and, and let's say if this isn't a tackle, we should try to, if it's a back trying to block him, we would try to wrong arm this. All right, take it on with our inside arm so we get the bounce out here to the safety coming hard. But, you know, we didn't do a good job on this play in that, in that situation. All right. This is just a, a you know, buck and a, a blood and end stunt, a tackle and end stunt down here. Same thing with man free. So that's one way we like to play it. Um, you know, with our free safety, and you know that's a, those are our basic rules: two by two and three by one. All right, going back to the playbook. The other way we will play it is looking at the storm sky again. Now, we talked about switching responsibilities here. We like to switch the responsibility. So now we feel that they're going to run a lot of motion with the H back. They they play a lot of games with these two guys. If they bring him across. All right, we could just bump and we just, you know, everybody just bumps and it's not a big deal to us. If the number two receiver motions, anchor drops, free safety comes up and picks him up and we could still play run inside. And I'll show you guys a, a couple clips of that. All right, so Sky. So sky coverage, all right? Here's the H back. They use him a lot, all right? Spurs Lackawanna, they use him a lot, bringing him in motion. They do different things with him. So what we're trying to do, Sam's got, now we switch the responsibilities. Anchor's coming down and playing number two, all right? He's got number one and the H back to back, okay? We're kind of we're kind of comboing him. If he releases up the field or out, the, the Sam will take him, okay? If he starts coming across, all right, he's got help. We got a, a hook defender, a curl flat defender, all right, deep third player, and he has this guy right here. 
So you're gonna see one and two here. All right, there's our safety. All right, we're running with him. Okay, as you can see here, all right, linebacker to drop and underneath. We're trying to get underneath one. We got eyes on the crosser and we got eyes on the back. So we're okay, all right? We're getting underneath routes and we can rally to the short stuff. Biggest thing I teach my linebackers is stay, keep your depth, all right? Stay underneath the crossing routes. When they run somebody low, they're trying to throw the ball behind you with some kind of dig or post concept. So we want to stay underneath, all right? Getting passing lanes and then rally to any short stuff. But, the, but this is the other way that we will play it. Okay, we talked about this, both the first two with seal and our, you know, sky or sky or storm, we call it either one, but right now it's sky. We are playing underneath with these guys, man, 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 got a free safety with underneath help. All right, here it is again. All right, so again, we change the responsibilities. All right, our anchor's coming down. He has number two man. All right, corner's one. He's at one. We play around with the alignment. We're playing him at six yards. We're not pressing right now. And these three guys, okay, are comboing, all right, this is the tight end to the back. So they are zone defenders underneath. All right, here's another picture. Okay, this is first run. So here's our safe, here's our safety. Here's our Sam linebacker. We're still in our four-two box. All right. He has B, B gap player. All right. He has A to to scraping outside. Anything on anything wide run. We tell him teach him A gap first. Anything starts bounce outside, then you know, A A to ball. We tell this guy play B gap to, to football. All right, right now they're just running the ball. And we're okay. Now, here it is again. All right, three by one. All right, we're in sky. He's got one, he's got two. All right, he's got three. Vertical or out, all right? And these guys are still comboing their eyes on the back. All right, this, they make a nice play here. All right, but you know, the coverage pretty good now. Here's what we're talking about with motion. Now what should happen, okay, is these guys all right, there's our, our safety. Here's our other safety. He should be dropping. He should be going deep third, and we should be getting a little, little more force here from him because this is becoming his guy. So we get the deep third. He's going to go deep third, and he's coming up. He's going to take the guy coming across. We have to communicate that. So what that gives us is it allows our, our backers inside to play football. Let's them play football. We still have our H back rules, but we have three guys underneath, okay, all right, to play run, all right. So we're not flying around. Now this guy could just scrape inside. Our, our, all right, our will linebacker could just scrape inside. All right, we got this force down here, and this coming back. So we're, used to, we're starting to see more of that with the guys running motion. I think this is a good answer with all the motion stuff you're starting to see. So we have three guys here, all right, playing run. All right, and here's one more picture of it. Different play from the first clip. All right, same thing. One, two, all right, he's got the, uh, the H back if he goes vertical or out. We still have a deep third player. All right, we have two linebackers here on, as well, playing hook, curl to flat, and also seeing if the, if the back releases, they would still have the back in responsibility. Not a bad job, you know, Keyshawn. Now, one thing you got to teach, you know, teach it, teach 
when they get in these RPO teams, this team, we have to know where the back is. All right, so right now, he sees the back his side. He knows the possibility of running RPO to this side. If the back was on the other side, we have other coverages we can run where if they bring the back across, they're going to look to go RPO. would probably be a little more either some type of cover two or man look on the back side. So we, we try to – we're very big on knowing where the back is in the RPO game and what teams are doing with that. But right now, we have the same thing. Sam, Mike, Will. He goes vertical. All right, we're going to try to get hands on him, and he knows he's got help from the safety if that if he gets some type of vertical, you know, quick RPO game with trying to hit that tight end. Now, this is a screw-up. I just want to put this on here. This is what happens when they start bringing guys across if you run with your Sam. The Will sees it. He knows that if this guy's going across, that's it. That's That's on him. As you can see, he starts to go. Our backer here should just be, you know, shuffling, staying inside and playing cutback. All right, this is a problem if you try to run across and do any of that stuff when you're in man free. So that's why our rule is he should just shuffle inside, stay home. If they give the ball, the wheel starting to scrape outside, we're in good shape. All right, the Mike and the Sam can now play run. All right, he'll play cutback, okay? All right, the mic can, can bounce. We should be making a bounce call, and he would be able to take any of that jet, jet action. But our Sam screws that up, and that's why it's very important. That's why I show this one, because he should just be sitting in here and not running with that. The Will does a great job and sees it, but our Sam, all right, and that's where they actually, you know, they fake with a flash motion, and they want to run the ball back. That's why I think this defense is a good answer for that. So really, the Sam should be here making that tackle for two yards instead of it's a seven yard game. But you know, sometimes you got, I like to show the bad with the good and why we're doing things. So he shuffles in here. We got the jet and we play and run. All right. We still have a numbers game, but with just with this right here, we're fine. All right. We teach our DNs stay square. All right. You're going to play, you're playing quarterback on any type of flash motion, any type of um, zone read stuff. We don't change, you know, the rules too much with our guys. All right, but just so you guys could see that again, the Sam should be staying home and not running across with that. All right, now we're go I'm going to go into our, now we're going to get into our pressure stuff. All right, our pressure stuff. So those two are more, you know, help us with the RPO game, H-back game. You know, we'll do those on some early downs. When we get into our shark game, all right, shark is man free and we're bringing pressure. All right, shark man free. We will bring these both linebackers, and we will try to blitz engage the back. Just as a coaching point, we we tell them you're playing, you know, play your run responsibilities first. But you know, once we're in shark, you you're blitzing. All right, if we call shark, it's an automatic blitz for those guys. If we line up in our base defense, that means the Mike's going a gap, and the Will linebackers going b gap. If we're in bear. The will will be rushing off the outside. It gives us great flexibility because we play shark, which is man free, where we're sending both those guys. We can either call the blitz or we can just have them do it. And they know that if they read past, they're blitz engaging the back. So it gives us the option of playing different um, pass responsibilities and also giving us different blitz looks. The rules are still the same. All right. So shark. Okay. Sam's got number two man for man. Anchor and free, they're either playing number, you know, number three or free has two weak and the anchor's a deep third player. All right, let me get that. Sorry. So this is our, our shark stuff. So show to us means exactly what it says. We just show, all right? We'll show and bring pressure. Other times we'll show and drop. All right, so Shark, we're bringing both backs. If it's a pistol, whatever way this back releases, he's yours. So Shark is a six-man pressure to us. We are in man free. All right, right now, he's got A gap. He's got B gap. All right, and there's your tailback. All 
If they run the football, we're in good shape. All right, we're showing. Everyone's still playing their gap. We have our A gap player. We're showing Shark, he's got A gap. We got B gap, we are in man free. So we, we use it as a run defense as much at times as a pass defense. So second and six situation, we can go Shark. I like going Shark if they're a big screen team. If they're looking to run some screens out of it, where we this way we're blitz engaged in the back. We're not, you know, we're not dropping. So helps us on some screen situations. All right, here's Shark again on second and twelve. Again, I just you know we just call shade Shark, base Shark, whatever we're gonna do, man free, you know, with different signals and calls for it. But right now. They know that if they read pass, they play their run gap first, they read pass, they're going. They know that we got the back, all right? If he, block, if he blocks, all right, we try to blitz engage the back and, and go. So it gives impression we're sending, sending six. He's coming across. So that means this linebacker, for some reason he released, that becomes his guy. Safety does a good job here. So we always talk about levels. So we never want these guys on the same level. We do a good job here. Safety does a good job. I right, get over it and we do a good job with our corner getting hands on our number one receiver. Again, here's our man free stuff. All right, so. Now, we call them, we call a Mac shark here, okay? Mac shark means the mic's going. All right, he's going. We, we screw this coverage up because our safety, something that happened communication-wise, he should be playing the back and he should have number two. But for some reason, you know, we screwed up this coverage, all right? But you can see there that we, we can blitz one as well. We can call who's, who's blitzing, going back to that. We just call the one backers going all right, now if this back releases, is it tough? Yeah, absolutely. But we know this game that they, they like to bring, you know, backer. They used to bring, you know, they like to bring the back up inside or across this game. So we knew we were okay, but really technically he's got him and he should be playing the back. He should have number two week. Again, we have a couple of things and, you know, sometimes things don't go as planned and, you know, it's good to, Teach off those clips as well. All right, again, we go Axe Shark. Axe is double A gap blitz, okay? Now, people always ask, this guy swings right now, then the linebacker's gotta come out of his blitz and pick that up. So we have an Axe call, double A gap blitz. We use this again. If we know that they don't release this back a lot or they keep him inside in protection, we have a six man pressure. We're okay coverage wise out here, all right? Um, Sam's taking the point. He's got number one, he's got number three. All right, and we get good pressure here. And that's our, that's our shark variation. So our coverage rules, we got trips, safety's over, he's got number three, deep third player. All right, we're pressing on the backside on number one. All right, now here it is with our bear front. Bear, same thing. All right, we always tell at the end, if he's on the line, okay, right now, he is going, okay? He has the running back. Mike has the running back. Again, it's, all right, it's third and eight. He knows he's got running back. We want to, you know, it's RPO play action, but we should be looking to blitz engage him. If he stays in and blocks, he should still come, all right? So, and, and meet him in the backfield. So, get, you know, we want to try to get this running back to account for him. So again, I'll let it play through. He's got the back, we're man free, all right? Safety's got number three, and we're okay. All right, 
Last one I'm going to show you guys is what we call, all right, it's another look, is what we call dolphin. If we, we'll use this if we think that, all right, our D linemen love this one because we're sending both inside backers and we're sending both and the inside backers have zero pass responsibility. The end in our blood is our other defensive end. If the back is your way and he swings, that's your guy. If he swings or runs a arrow, he's yours. Mike and Will are blitzing. Okay. Now, one thing that we play, we don't use all of these each game. Okay. We look at what kind of tailback they have. Is he a good receiver in the passing game? If this guy's a really good receiver in the passing game, we will not use Dolphin in that game. Right, if he's someone that we don't like, uh, you know, we don't want our DNs running with, you know, tailbacks that are true, really good, excellent pass receivers. If they run like wheels with this kid or run him down the sideline or really use him in the passing game, we won't run this coverage. But as far as Dolphin goes, it's both inside linebackers. We can scheme this up any way we want with the end peeling and taking the running back his side and pass. So we will send both inside guys. Again, notice our coverage rules aren't changing. Our corner's on one, our Sam's on two, our rank is on three, but we're doing different things with our fronts and our, and our, uh, with our bare front and our four, two front and, you know, and some odd stuff that we can cause problems and some matchups and still run the same coverage rules on the back end. So again, so this is Dolphin. If he swings, the end picks him up. We can do different things. We can go bear, right? We can go bear and put the will down. We can put a linebacker over the center, which is another front, just a different variation of bear, and we could play games with that. All right, so here's our dolphin stuff. Now we have a loop stunt on here. Loop to us is back at, uh, inside backers or a cross dog in it. All right, they're cross dogging. We have dolphin, which means the back. Now, our D end has the running back. If he sees him block, all right, he can go. We get good inside pressure here, and I think we force a quick throw with that inside loop pressure. Our D end should be blitz engaging. He kind of slows down to pick up the back, if you notice up top. He kind of slows down. He says, all right, he's staying in to block. I'm going. You know, the back sneaks out late. If they're able to get that off, then so be it. But, you know, right now the end sees him blocking. I'm not going to get on him too much for that. He sees him blocking. So he, he, feel, he continues to rush. So we end up having a six-man pressure. So everything we try to do is when we're blitzing and we're sending guys, we want to always give the, the you know, perception that we're bringing the heat, we're bringing pressure. They force a quick throw, they throw the ball a little bit behind them, and we get the pick. All right, here's another situation where we're in the ax dolphin, which means we're going double A gap. If this back releases, the DN has him. All right, the DN does a good job here. He sees it. We actually get the tackle to kick slide out a little bit, and that opens things up inside for us. So this is our Dolphins. This is what we call Dolphins. It's man-free. It's all man-free principles. So here's one. Here's two. We're on one. All right. Our free safety is on two, and our anchor is a deep third free player. We're bringing two inside guys, and he's going right, to engage a tackle, and he's got to pick up the swing. And we're lucky. You know, we do a good job there. All right. Now, here's a bullet stunt. Bullet to us, we always play our, our nose and when we were playing on the center, he's shaded, he's tilted. Bullet to us means he's coming across, he's coming over the top, and he's going B-gap. Now, our inside linebacker screws this up. If he keeps going, okay, with our bullet, he's coming clean. All right, same thing up top. 
RDN picks up. All right, he picks up the back. We have our corner on one, corner on one. All right, safety on two. Here's our here's our free player. That quarterback does a good job here scrambling. And we went ax here. All right, he's, he scrambles, escapes pressure. But you guys got the idea. Same same rules though. All right, if he releases, he's the DN's guy. He goes across. All right, he goes across. This DN, right, would have to take him. Again, this is a game plan thing. We look at what they're doing with their running back, right? This game, they really only, they ran a lot of swings with them or they bring them across in, in protection. Again, we go loop. You guys could see it again. Technically, back releases, all right? That's a DN's guy. All right. And that's basically, all right, the four things we'll, we'll do with our coverage. Um, Hopefully, you know, you guys can find one or two things that are useful. I mean, obviously we're seeing a lot more H-back stuff these days. We're seeing a lot more with the jet motion. Obviously the last couple of years, we've seen some RPO stuff. So I think, you know, there's different options that you guys can use. And as far as going into a game, I may go into a game with one or two of these things. You know, I don't play every game. I, I, I can pretty much assure you, we don't play every one of these in each game. All right, a lot of it ties into coverages and, you know, things of that nature. All hey, right. So, so appreciate that coach, uh, you know, one of the, one of the trends, I think, uh, you know, I've talked with a number of defensive guys now uh, that, that I think we've all noticed is um, three by one with a nub tight end. So how, how, how do you guys typically handle that? Uh, and I know it kind of changes game plan. Well, wise, but what's your philosophy? Well, here's the thing you got to understand. Number one is I work very hard with, you know, as far as the tight end. You, now, where would you say that tight end is? Is it going to be? Uh, so, so three by one to the field with the nub okay. tight end to the boundary. Okay. okay. The boundary. Okay. So that, that would just tie into our, to our rules. So you have a corner uh, safety and it's, it's going to be true trips. Yeah. Yep. So corner will be, a, you know, one by, we tell them to play, uh, you know, about, one by four outside the corner. We'll play the safety, you know, and we'll still play our normal rules if we get that set. Like we don't, we don't really get crazy with, you know, we just, we get in our normal alignments. As far as we would play corner, safety, um, you know, our, our basic rules would kind of be the same. Now, what are they doing out of that is what I always want, you know, is what we talk about. Right. So again, like, it, like I said earlier, like we're, we're probably gonna, we could play, you know, either one of those fronts early, I'd probably go more to like the sky front where we have the three linebackers to me, if they're going to probably be running more out of that set. Mm -hmm. But as far as our coverage rules, they would be, you know, pretty much, pretty much standard with what we're doing. Gotcha. What, uh, what percentage um, in a game are, are you calling man coverages? Are you, uh, you know, an that, that, that's a great, that's a great question. A lot of times, you know, like, you, you'll go into a game thinking we're going to do this. I would say I went back and looked at it. We're about some type of man coverage. We played about 40%. We played 40% of the time last year. Gotcha. So that's meaning we could play man with this. Like we'll do a lot of this man free stuff where we're playing underneath help with linebackers. We'll also do that with our man stuff too. So basically we'll play our four hot receivers with our corner anchor free and corner. And we'll play our Sam, Mike and Will underneath his linebackers as well so we have that ability to turn it on and off kind of thing mm -hmm. so if we don't call a blitz and we're in our man coverage the linebackers know that they're playing underneath help and okay. we like to do that especially down when we start getting on the goal line stuff uh so how's your defensive philosophy change or adjust being at a juco where you know you got kids for two years max or 
You know, it's funny. Like when I first came here, because I was I came from a four year college, I thought it would be drastically de- different. And you know, I'll be honest. Like our guy, we play about eight to nine coverages a game. So you know, we try to go. I I never try to get into the double digits. So we're about eight to nine. So and if I put something new in, it doesn't. But as far as you know, personnel wise, again, I'm very fortunate. I have kids that are very savvy football kids. You know, the the big thing is you can't get as in depth with things. I think as you as you'd like, especially losing the spring this year. Mm-hmm. But, you know, well, we have about, you know, eight starters back on defense, so they already noticed, the, you know, the scheme. But as far as that goes, I don't think you get as 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 much in, you know, as far as, like, getting more in-depth with things. So, you know, we do, keep it, we do keep it simple, and I think that's the biggest thing. Like, everything we do is simple and, you know, gets more guys, on, you know, on the field. I, I, I would imagine that you could say the same offensively too, is that offensively you can't get into a lot of the intricate details and change ups and things like that. So yeah, I think well. our, I've talked to our offensive guys, you know, they, they try to keep it simple as well with, you know, our reads our progressions. And I think, you know what, it's funny when I was at a military Academy before this and you think it's that drastically different. I think, you know, kids are kids, are, you know, that the, the kids I have at this at NASA are really good, you know, football, football, you know, players and they really understand the game like one of my safeties I think is gonna be a great coach someday he, he makes all the calls I, I you know he, he he does everything on the field our linebacks you know we do a good job communicating so you know I'm fortunate in that aspect awesome appreciate you joining us coach Koo. all right